few weeks ago, I received this message from one of my followers. Can you make a video on how you deal with hate comments and anxiety when you post? Because me sometimes, I'm afraid to post what I think and as a result, I don't post anything. I found this message to be sad. My goal with this channel is to show you what social media can bring to your music career and how beneficial it can be. I don't want to let a minority of narrow-minded, jealous people ruin that opportunity for you, so let's talk about how I deal with negativity, posting anxiety, and mean comments. I do have five points that I want to touch on, but first of all, yes, mean comments are part of the job. You won't escape it. But if you go into this journey with the mindset that it all happened, it'll be easier to deal with because you expect it, therefore you can be ready for it when it happens. It has to be something that you are okay with and that you accept. Listen, no job is perfect. Every job has its pros and cons. Nine to fivers have over controlling bosses, we have haters, it's just a part of it. Now the first point is that you can't please everyone. Someone will always find something to complain about. You can save a kid from an accident that someone will find something negative to say about it. It's just humans. So I'm not even trying to please everyone because it'll just never happen. Once you understand that, it'll be a big weight lifting off your shoulders. Give yourself the permission to not please everyone, especially with music and art. It's a creative topic, so it's just taste and colors. Anyway, my second point is that 90% of the time, their comments aren't against you. Most of the time, people commenting bad comments are just not happy in their lives. They're not happy of where they currently are. Bad comments always come from a place of jealousy or envy. In 2022, my coach said someone that is happy with their own life will never waste five minutes of their time to write a bad comment on a video. And it couldn't be more accurate. I have never ever left a bad comment on a video, even before being a YouTuber myself, so don't take it personally. Plus, there are a lot of scams online, so people don't trust easy and that's normal. Nothing you can do about it, except keep proving them wrong through your videos, help, inspiration and success. Alright, my next point is that your videos aren't for everyone. Let me explain. Something that most people don't realize is that every video they see online weren't made specifically for them. People are very entitled online. They think that everything they see concerns them. But my videos aren't for everyone. And 90% of the time, someone leaving a mean comment on my video isn't my targeted desired audience. So why should I care about what they say considering my videos aren't made for them? For example, it took me weeks, if not months, to find the courage to do this video called Why I Don't Make Money From Royalties because I knew that it was going to ruffle some feathers. Not everyone agrees with my approach. I know. And that's okay because it just means that my content isn't for them. But I try to keep in mind why I do this. I do this to help people that are curious to learn about my approach and are open to try a different way not for the narrow-minded people that aren't. So I owe it to that first group of people to post those videos to help them. As Sean Kennel said, attract the best, repel the rest. Now on another note, it is important to highlight the fact that 90% of them, their comments are just factually wrong. For example, I had one that said something like, you haven't even made one video where you produce a full song. Yeah, he's right, I made tens of them. <laughs> They just haven't taken the time to watch all of my videos before forming their opinion. Why should I care about these? They don't even know what they're talking about. Anyway, this video is pissing me off, so I hope you get value from it. <laughs> okay, and my final point before I give you some bonus secret tips is that if you do get mean comments, it means that you made it. It means that you have strong opinions, that you have things that you stand for that others don't particularly agree with, and this is when your voice spreads further than just you and your friends. It's normal that other people have other opinions, and it's okay, everyone is allowed their own opinion. But it's good for you because the more people comment and engage with your content, the more your videos will spread in the algorithm, so take it as a win. Now, if you really want to, you can minimize the risk with these two techniques. There is a YouTube feature that not a lot of people know about called hide user from channel. And this is a YouTuber's best friend. If you see that someone is writing bad comments and you don't want to see them anymore, click that button and it'll hide them from everyone. They won't know it. They can still watch and comment on your videos, but 
it'll be in the void as it won't appear for anyone else. So thank you YouTube for that one. Lastly, you can protect yourself by getting someone else to sort your comments and hiding the bad ones on an app called TubeBuddy before you go in to reply to them. The advantage here is that it won't remove the comment from the video as everyone is allowed to share their opinions as long as it's not irrespectful or vulgar, but at least you won't need to see them. This is what my fiancé did for a month and what my VA will now be doing. This way I shield myself from negativity and can focus on the good aspects of social media, aka growing my fan base and monetizing my passion of making music for a living. So my hope for you is that this video will help you gather the confidence that you need to launch your own YouTube channel or to start posting content as right now in 2025, this is the best thing you can do for your music career or business. And if you want to learn about how to do that, you can register for the waitlist of my online course, Music Creator, which I will be launching for the third time next month, right after Christmas. In the meantime, keep learning and I'll see you in the next one.